What do I have behind me? This is a roof mounted attic fan. This fan provides exhaust capabilities to pull out air from the roofing system and from an attic. Now fans are great, we install them all the time, but you have to be careful with what roofing systems you choose to utilize and install fans in. And here's what I mean. In this attic that we're in, the attic was getting too hot in the winter and causing condensation on the decking at the nails on the decking. And in the summer, it was getting excessively hot. This fan also had its problems that came with it. So number one, this fan is activated by a thermostat, which is this box over here. The temperature on this can go to as low as 70 degrees, which is good. So when this fan, when the thermostat senses that the temperature gets uh, at or above 70 degrees, the fan kicks on and it pulls out air from the attic. But the problem is, is that this fan did not have a complementing humidistat activation mechanism. That matters because in this attic, they were experiencing excessive nail condensation in the winter time. Put simply, they were turning on the heat in the living spaces down below. Heat wants to rise. It was rising through the attic. If it, let's say it was 20 or 30 degrees outside, this attic was getting hot relative to that, 50 degrees, 60 degrees, but there's no way this attic was reaching 70 degrees. And what that would have done is that would have activated this fan. But because the temperature was not hitting that high point, this fan did not know to kick on. So the attic was getting to that 50 or 60 degree mark. And then when you contrast that with the exterior air temperature of 20 or 30 degrees, what was happening is all the nails that were poking through the decking, through the, the wood on the roof, all those nails were starting to condensate because they were feeling the cold temperatures outside, the warmer temperatures in the attic, and that was turning the nails into a condensation vector. So the nails were saturating the decking, they were dripping and saturating into the wood, and then they were also dripping on the floor. All the while, this fan never kicked on because it only was activated via temperature, not via humidity. So what we're going to do is we're going to install two new roof mounted attic fans and the ones we install they're going to have both thermostat activation temperature and then humidistat activation aka it can sense when the attic is getting too humid or there's too much moisture up here so now in the winter time if those nails start condensating the fans will know to kick on pull out the air from the attic and we're going to install an eave intake vent around the bottom of the roof and that's just a way to get cooler air from the exterior into the attic. So this fan will pull from those vents we installed at the bottom of the roof. It will not pull from the conditioned air down below. So a couple good pointers to think about when you're considering installing a roof mounted attic fan in your roof and in your home.